let's go to our first guest. She is Stephanie Bennett. She is author of the book, Johnny B. Bad, the amazing behind the scenes story of the making of Chuck Berry, Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll, and the woman who lived through it. In 1987, the Taylor Hackford documentary, Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll, celebrated the genius of music legend Chuck Berry and his relationship with Rolling Stone Keith Richards. Now, 32 years after its wow. release comes the story of the making of the movie, and it's not a pretty picture. <laughs> Stephanie Bennett knows firsthand. Thank you so much for being Thank you, here, Stephanie. Stephanie. How are you? Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, congrats on the book. <laughs> yes. Thank There's you. so much to go through. Uh, what sparked you to write the book? Uh, two years ago yesterday, Chuck mm -hmm. died, Yes. and the phone rang off the hook. People were saying, and people said to me, how do you feel? I said, wow, um, I feel like, you know, we made a great film, didn't we? And they said, yeah, but do you remember this? Do you remember that? Mm. And so right. I, I thought, there's, maybe there's a book here. <laughs> and right. I wrote a proposal, and, you know, we interviewed 15 people. Um, Taylor Hackford, Helen Mirren was there through the whole thing. Wow. Uh, Keith Richards. So we, you know, we put to, I, just interviewing these people in their stories. It's just amazing that in one film so much happened over so, a, a, like really a two-year period. For our viewers, tell us a little bit about Chuck Berry. You know what? What was he like? What was he? You know, tell us about the Give viewers us the a little pros bit. And the the pros and the cons about you know working with Chuck Berry. Well, the pros are that he made great music and he influenced, and without him, there would be no Beatles or Stones. Correct. Amen. Um, yes. And Roll Over Beethoven is really what launched both the Beatles and the Stones. And the Stones, correct. Yeah. And I think that was always, you know, stuck in his gut. I think it was, you know, he never was got the adulation that uh, they did. Right. He got the money, but not the adulation. Right. And I think for me, it was doing the film as an, a legend. Uh -huh. And, you know, Taylor Hackford agreed to do it. He's a, it was a big feature film. Right. Universal agreed to make it. Mm -hmm. So here we are. We think we're going to make a great film about Chuck Berry. Okay. And he's going to love it, right? And right. we're going to surround him by all these people who love him. Right. Get a great musical director, Keith Richards, <laughs> who right. wanted to pay his dues, he said. Mm. And Chuck could not care less. He could not care. <laughs> I could and care. I would say to him all the time, but Chuck, Eric Clapton, you know, R Linda Bastard, right. you know, Etta James. And he'd be like, give me another 25000 if you want me to do this. Wow. And so it was all about the money. Every day before we started shooting a scene, uh -huh. he would call up. Once he called a phone box on the corner. Right. Of the, one of the worst parts of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. This phone kept ringing, and finally Taylor Hackford said to someone, "Go pick up that phone." Right. And they picked it up and said, "It's for you, Taylor." And so he says to Taylor, "Taylor, I just want you to know everything's good between you and me, mm. but I, I need to speak to the producer." And so I get on the phone, and I'm like, "Oh no!" But Chuck, <laughs> but Chuck, we have a deal. No, no, we don't have a deal for, to do this. And it was to shoot at the Cosmo Club which is where he originally started. Well, he originally started, right? So yeah. the law my lawyer and I would trot out to his home and renegotiate until one day Universal said, you know what, let him sit down and write the contract. Right. And then, you know. Then you can agree to it Then you can not. agree right. to it. <laughs> and then we can maybe sue him for duress at the end of the, <laughs> right. the show. Right, yes, know. right. And, and he would say things like, well, you know, Stephanie, you could make things easier. You know that. And the funny thing was, at the beginning, he said, I'm so glad you're doing this film because women have been prejudiced against. They've had a hard time making it in the world. So I'm really glad my producer's a woman, right? Right. But he obviously thought I was part of the deal, which, you know. Hmm. And then it got around to, well, you, you mean know, part of the deal with the con like, like was, yeah, <laughs> was it's like more, yeah. you're you're giving yourself a little bit more, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, don't you come with the deal? I mean, I, <laughs> wow. I thought that was part of the deal. What was the relationship like with between Chuck and Keith Richards? It was it was um, it was interesting because um, Keith had to put up with a lot. There's a famous scene where they do O'Carroll and Chuck gets up there. And he's being filmed, and he's got the band there, Johnny Johnson, Chuck Lavelle from the Stones. And, and he's teaching 
keith to play o'carroll and wow. he's like got to get it right got to get it right keith wow. you know and keith if it's probably the most watched part of the film on youtube is keith is just glaring and we're like is keith going to walk out is he going to walk away from this is he going to take it mm. and he took it and even the night of the concert he said we're going to ch switch keys. Right. And Keith said, no, Chuck, we're not. <laughs> and I mean, wow. it was always that control <laughs> thing. He thought he was in control. Right? Wow. And I think as Keith said, it was like he opened the doors, Chuck, to us. Of course. And the whole world came in. And so he couldn't control I it. I want to get the book in, Stephanie. Yeah, so hold the book Stephanie. for us real this quick. Is, this but anyway, just... there are many, many stories. There's a story of how he drove us into a prison. Right. And we got <laughs> attacked. Yeah, I saw. Oh, my God. I got to get this book. <laughs> we got to get the book of that. Now. Wow, there's Listen, so much to Listen, congratulations on the Thank book. You. All the best to you. Thanks for being here, Stephanie. Uh, and and really I wish we could stay all day and talk about it. But thank okay. you for being here. Buy the book. Rock, Buy the book. That's right. Rock and roll. Still to come, we're going to give you some easy ways to eat healthy. And yes, we mean easy, just a few simple steps, and you can have delicious meals for the entire family. And stay with us. We'll be right back with physician assistant Jessica DeLuise to talk healthy meal planning.